Hey, there's that secret transmitter. Oh, yeah. The six Mongolian boars in there gesticulating to aliens from Solar System Quadrant 4, I'm sure of it. I can just feel it somehow, somewhere. Should I get a photo of them? Yeah, why not? Never hurt anybody. I think we're going to have to take food in. Yeah, probably. That's probably a guy, yeah. I would think so. Yeah. I'm sort of hungry already, yeah. Yeah, we've got to eat something, yeah. Yeah, same. I'll be a zone out. Yeah. Yeah. We should go to the um, parrot court. Yeah, that could be a good idea, but I wonder what they've actually done wrong. Seems really weird that they're actually end up in court at all. Yeah, they shouldn't be in court if they haven't done anything. Yeah, we could like go and stand in their defence or something and be like character witnesses for them or do character references for them. I'm sure they're nice parrots. Monkeys! Hello, monkeys! Hello, devil monkeys! Wow, look at that monkey in there. It's sort of like, it's like the Oscar Wilde of the monkey world. It's really literary. Yeah, it's sort of like, it it's like it's hanging out, like it's a mountain or something. I like this, this is great. They're in some weird sort of octagonal box. Yeah, it's like a psychic temple. Oh, yeah. Hail be to the gibbon! Blessed be the gibbon! That's good. Blessed be the gibbon! Oh, could you do that again with a hand? Oh, okay. Blessed be the gibbon! That's cool, yeah, yeah, cool. You are but... upon the just gibbon! You are the happy gibbon! Oh, that's better, I feel relieved now. Ooh, that one's gonna thug out, I reckon. Yeah, they sort of look like Korean wrestlers, a bit like Odd Job in that forgotten 007 movie a bit. Yeah. Like seahorse towels in tomato ketchup. Yeah, sort of like Californian voyeur masochist or something. Do you reckon? Yeah, a little bit. I'm sure that I've seen an advert that they put in the Hamilton Press. Yeah, page 48, it's the monkey page. Is it? Yeah, there'd be like an advert like Brown Capuchin Monkey Six Exhibitionist Love Glob or something. Love Glob? That's pretty specialised, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, page 48 of the Hamilton Press, it's the monkey page. Yeah. It's a good read too sometimes, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty unexpected. Rhinos, come out to play, rhinos! Rhinos, come out to play! Here, rhino, 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 rhino! Here, rhino! That rhino's blind, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, hmm. This is weird, this is pretty spooky, actually. Yeah. Sort of like spooky space age Africa or something. Yeah. I and mean, look at those Crazy. rhinos up there, it's like they're gonna jump into spacesuits and and they can sort of like communicate with like Western Mongolia through that radio telescope equipment up there. Yeah, there's probably space agents there right now beaming in information to these rhinoceri. Do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. That's top-notch equipment, yeah. Hey, could you take a um, photo of us? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sure I mean transactional can do that, yeah. Mate, make sure you get those satellite. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, could you take it up the other way? Oh, like that way? Oh, no, the other way. Oh, that way, okay, yeah, yeah, right, definitely. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, like they put this um, bomb in an art gallery. Mm. Yeah, good, that's great. Very oh, great. yeah, it was great, yeah, yeah it was mm. brilliant. Like, they got all this um, corporate art and stuff, it's a mm. performance piece. Mm. And, they, you know, like that kind of stuff you get in offices and things, you know, oh, yeah. not really saying much, it's conceptual, conceptual minimalist. It said that stuff here. Yeah, yeah, and then, like, they just, like, didn't let anyone in, and then they just blew up the whole place. Wow. And there was just, like, shards of wow. glass and smoke, and then you could come in just then, and, like, it was, yeah. Wow. It's so beautiful, sort of, like, creative destructivism. We are reckon we're being watched by aliens from interdimensional space right now. Do you reckon aliens are in front of you? Betty, come out to play, Betty. Betty. I think she's in there. She must be like wearing curlers and drinking cups of tea and eating cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, right? she's looking sort of a bit, of, a bit vague in there somehow, like she's getting into technical drawing in a sort of a subliminal backgammon-like manner. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's her, isn't it? She's wearing like an anteater suit. Yeah, she's sort of getting into the whole thing there a bit, eh? Yeah. Oh, Betty. She's up to the backgammon. Oh. Well, I'll take another one. Lovely. Hello, Betty. Send me a stamped addressed envelope, please. Come out to play, Betty. You're lovely. What mm. transsexual is Betty? Here, push, 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 push. Here, push, push, push. 
Wow, I like that kind of speckly. Yeah. A bit like um, pixelated camouflage or something. Yeah, it's like they've got their own camouflage designer or design house. Yeah, I reckon they look pretty stylish actually. Yeah, almost borderline kinky. I am a human. You speak to me in your language. I speak to you in my language. We meet in the middle and collectively eat a gibbon. Mr. Snakes, I thought I'd show you this. This is the last, absolute last Muldoonist lamp in the whole city. Muldoonian? Yeah, like Muldoonist, yeah. Like the whole Muldoonist molecular compound structure just sort of collapses in on itself, like right here. What, right there? Yeah, it's strange to realise that, but yeah, just right here. And then later on, of course, like, Roger Douglas sort of appeared quietly with his sifty CIA friends. Sifted in through Shadowland space and sort of affected everything and and made, made the, the toast maker all weird, yeah. I think there's another one over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, snakes. Huh? What? Is your name Brian? Brian, what? I don't know, I thought your name was Brian. That's weird, I just had this really weird flashback just then. I was like, I must have been walking around the zoo, I must have been about five years old or something. I was walking around and, um, yeah, we got to the camels. I just felt exactly like I feel right now, just really tired, tired out. Yeah, it's been quite a long day walking around looking at these animals. Monkeys, come over! Oh, they are. Goodness, they're turning into Oranga gibbons right before our very eyes. Ooh, look at that. This is a sock monkey. Ooh, he's coming out of the bush. He can hear you. Can you hear him? I like that, I could have watched it all day, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's only about six or seven cups of tea. Oh, no.